Hi guys, I'm Laura Vitale, and on this episode of Laura in the Kitchen, I want to share with you how to make a fabulous, delicious, and easy apple and almond tart with lemon. I'm going to add in a little bit of tangerine. It is fabulous, and I feel like, I mean, it's not any, it's not that different than the um, apple almond uh, little tarts that I made a few years ago. This is just like in a tart, big tart version. I think it's a little bit better because uh, it works better with the crust rather than puff pastry, but I think it's a great alternative to a classic apple pie that you would make for a classic Thanksgiving. I know everything is a little bit different this year, so I'm trying to provide you with easy recipes that I feel like you can share with a smaller group and that are really easy to put together yet delicious. And I'm gonna be honest with you, I would take a slice of this over apple pie any day <laughs> because it's light, it's delicious, it's not really heavy, it's fabulous, and I think you're gonna love it. So, let me run you through the list of ingredients of what we'll be using. A couple of apples, I've got lemon, I've got a, a couple of uh, clementines, tangerines, what have you. You can also use an orange, but you can leave it out, up to you. Then for the filling, we need ground almonds, we've got some sugar, some flour, some salt, melted butter, you'll need a little bit more sugar, an egg, another egg, and vanilla extract, and your pie crust. Now you can make a nine inch pie crust homemade. I've got a great recipe on my website that I've been using for years and years and years. However, this time of year, your local grocery store does have name brand pie crust on killer deals. So when you see them, buy them, throw them in the freezer, and then you can just roll it out and place it in your pie plate, tart dish, whatever your heart desires, and you've got pie crust ready in literally seconds. So it's also a great thing to make. Um, it's also a great thing to have on hand if you don't feel like making a whole thing of pie crust. So this is just, like I said, I rolled out a pie crust, store bought, place it in a um, sprayed nine inch tart pan with a removable bottom. Got all that out in one sentence. My oven's preheated to 375. I'm gonna take this egg. We're gonna just make the crust itself a little bit more delicious. I'm gonna take my eggy, as my daughter would say. I'm gonna take a pastry brush. I'm gonna brush this. This also keeps, this part right here keeps the crust from going soggy as well when you add a filling to it, but this is just delicious. And it, we're gonna just sweeten up the crust a little bit more. We're gonna put a little bit of that orange zest in there and it really feels festive and it smells delicious and it's so good. So whether you're having Thanksgiving, you're having a few friends over for like a small teeny tiny Friendsgiving, or you wanna make something special for you and your family in the middle of a Tuesday night, you're gonna love it, I know you will. So, a little sugar on the actual crust. This will be so delicious and sweet and caramely. And then I'm just gonna do probably like the zest of a whole clementine, nearly there. And if you're using an orange for a nine inch pie crust, I would do probably like half of an orange, maybe a little less. I'm gonna set this aside. This does not need to part bake, it is good as is. So let's bring over our filling. We've got, I'm gonna use my fork because why not? We've got the almond flour, the regular flour, sugar and salt. Mix that around. I'm gonna go ahead and grate in some lemon zest. I'm gonna do probably half of this lemon because it's pretty big. Um, and you also have the orange underneath so I don't want it to be too strong. But orange, or lemon and almond just go really, really well together. So I always, anytime I really use almond, I always use lemon. They're just like match made in food heaven. You know what I'm saying? So then we're gonna add the egg. We're gonna add the butter and the vanilla. Get that in there. Good job. And then I'm just gonna go ahead and mix it with my fork before switching to my spatula. Now this will look like there's not enough filling, but really you just need a very thin layer. And as you put the apples on top, what happens is as this bakes, the filling will kind of puff up and bake around the apples and it's just fabulous. It really is absolutely delicious. It's gotta definitely be like my favorite apple tart pie situation. Um, like I said, over an apple pie. I'm sorry, it's just so much more exciting. It's easier, you don't have to worry about the double crust, you don't gotta worry about it falling apart if you don't cook it, you know, it's just, it's a whole thing. So, I'm gonna do a cute little pattern because we deserve it. So I'm gonna go ahead and cut my apple. I'm just gonna do this one just so that you can see. Um, 
I'm gonna slice it like so. I leave the peel on, make sure you're using good organic apples. I'm gonna leave the peel on, I'm gonna slice them like so, and then I'm gonna fan them right in. And I don't move them. I'm gonna show you what I mean by that. We're gonna do this one. And you can do this in any pattern your heart desires. So I do one of these, and as they bake, it's just so pretty. Fan that out like so. Not pretty. And I'm just gonna continue with the rest. That looks great to me. You can also, by the way, just say how I did with the little tiny pieces, you can fill in any and every gap with apple. I like a little bit of exposure here and there, so I'm gonna leave it as is. You take a bit more sugar and you go ahead and top it on the actual apples. I mean, tell me this is not easier than like a whole lot of desserts you could be making this time of year, but it's also really impressive. And what I mean by impressive, which is something that I always feel like I have to make very, very clear, what I mean by impressive, I never, ever, ever mean you have to do something that's so elaborate so that people think you're so fabulous. That's never what I mean. What I mean is when you present something that looks like you've spent so much time and effort when in reality you really didn't, that just makes you look cool. That just means that you know the ins and outs of what you can do in the kitchen that makes you look cool and allows you to spend that extra time with your friends and family because that is what matters now and always. Pop it in the oven, 375, around a half an hour or so. We'll let it cool a little bit, and then we serve. My pie tart, I should say, was in the oven about a half an hour. Let it cool a bit, still slightly warm. This is why I love a tart with a removable bottom because it makes it very, very easy to get out of there and slide it right off. A dusting of sugar, maybe a little something green, a sprig of mint or something if you have it alongside just to make it look even more special, but honestly, I think that's so beautiful, so elevated, yes, so simple and easy. You are going to love it. And by the way, it smells so good. That's a big piece. <laughs> it smells so good, you would not believe it. I hope that you can see how the filling kind of sets. It's not real custody, it's kind of hard to explain. Um, it just becomes really soft and delicious. And I'm telling you, I'm just gonna take a, a little tiny slice because this is so much better. It's just a little something different. Mmm. Mmm. The flavor is unbeatable. Texture is great. It's everything I want. And then some. This is the apple pie tart of the season in this house. And I hope that it is in yours as well. Larry in the kitchen.com for the recipe. Hope you enjoyed spending time with me. I'll see you next time. To that. Mmm. Thank you.